right, so I'm here with a major famous chef. Abdullah Suma. Boom, and he is the chef for Cooper's. Let me see if I can get it in here. Yeah. So I just was interested in asking him because he's from um, Africa, right? West what part Africa. of what, West, Africa. West Africa? Guinea. And main chef, I went to the place a couple of times. I love the food. Nothing but great things they had to say about you. Thank you. So tell me, where did this all start from? Uh, I get this inspiration from my father. Yeah. My father used to be chef. Yep. So I go up to him. So from that, I love the food. Yeah. I mean the food. Yeah. I love the food and the sweet. Yes. So food is part of my life. Part of your life. So, what was your main dish or your main, the, your father's kind of cuisine that he was so good at that you it translated into? I mean, in Africa we have uh, many. Uh, I mean, uh, it's hard to make a choice. Mm -hmm. All kind of good food, the spicy yeah. food comes from there. Yeah. So it's the same uh, thing I'm doing here. Right. Okay. So I do all kind of specialty like French. Yeah. Caribbean. Yeah. Japanese. Anything will make people happy. Wow. So what was your did? So you learned from your father. You got the love for food, love for cooking from your father. Yes. But you had to learn some things too. So you, your experience. Where did that take you? Oh, uh, my experience. Should, let me say, my first chef I worked with in America is a chef Bruce Cooper, mm. who is like a godfather to me. A lot of love from him. Yeah. From uh, from the beginning, because when I moved to Africa, and um, when I moved from Africa to United States, that was in '98. My first step is the dishwasher. That's a man who speaks no English. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Yeah. So from dishwasher prep guy. From prep guy, line cook, and today head chef. So we have like a 75 item in the menu. Right. The 75 item in the menu, at least 50% come from me. Wow. So uh, I give myself credit. Now. Of course, you gotta pat yourself on the back for that. So what are some principles that you believe that a good chef has? Some nice principles. Um, that you think if a, there's, a, there's someone watching this, hey, you know what? I really love food. I really love cooking. I really love putting my dishes together, and I want to bring that pleasure into other people. What are some principles you think that they should hone very early in the in the stage? I think the food to me is about flavor. How mm. to put the flavor together? Yeah. Because of, everybody can cook food, but to bring the flavor together I'm sorry my wife my oh no we no wife, we are gonna we're gonna pause this for your wife <laughs> my lovely wife is calling me <laughs> while he takes that call let me just give you some more information about Cooper's restaurant You, you answered the phone call, you had to, and we had to pause. We had to take heed when the wife calls, everything yes. stops. Yes. All right, yes. all right, but let's continue. So, you said bringing the flavors together yes. is a very a important together. Like I say, everybody can cook, yeah, but uh, the person can bring the flavor together. You have to give a lot okay? Anybody can have put that thing together. I don't think the person, I don't say he do not love the food, but the flavor is a very important, thing. yeah, okay. So be scared. Yeah. I, I learned from this guy, Bruce Cooper. Yeah. I really appreciate today. He make me my American dream come true. Yeah. I come to this country with one pair of shoes, one pair of pants, and one pair of shirt. Wow. And today I'm so proud of myself. I have everything I, I, I mean. I need her. Yeah. My American dream coming too. He has my wife, my five kids. I have five kids. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, to me, my American dream coming too.